John here. I just want to do one short clip here for the high of the Marae at uh, Titi uh, for the 13th, 14th, 15th. To date, I have got the consent to hire the Marae and I've got the consent to go into the top Marae on the other side of the Treaty of Waitangi grounds to the flag staff and raise this flag. Uh, as far as the Marae Committee is there, they're happy with that. They've had talks. It's taken a week and a half to, to get that decision. And it's made me short of time to um, uh, get how many people are going to the hood. And we also got the Marae, the top Marae, uh, Treaty of Waitangi Grounds, Treaty House, uh, for Hui in there as well with the Tomata, of Titi Marae, and also the um, uh, Ngāpui Nui Tonu uh, elders on the 39 Marae, as far as I can count. That's how many have been going to continuous meetings under the directive of Epiha, um, Poheb, Poheba, Epiha, Tomata from Ngāti Kura Marae in Matariga. And also um, Willy Peter in um, Otawa Marae in the Hokianga district area. Uh, thank you for them uh, supporting me in this part of the duty, the um, British side, or actually the Pakia side. I'm going in there to do that side in Britain while they do this side. So I'm responsible for the legal side of the work in bringing together and formulating the um, documents for them on Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae that the chief, uh, King Itaurua, uh, um operating as his arataki or legal advisor as well uh, for his um, um, tomata elders um, and their history. I have all in these books I have here. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, the bill so far for only up to 60 people. I can't say how many are coming because I've got a a website moaipowerhouse.com, m o a i p o w e r h o u s e dot c o m, moaipowerhouse.com. Go there and register. How many people are coming? Leave it in a note in the box and press send. Just that little box, put your address and your name and your uh, phone number, email, put it there, and you're going for the £25 free share from this flag and the Moai statue out of a trillion shares. That's 25 trillion in shares, okay? Um, that we're actually giving away if you. Believe that, you believe anything that I've managed to get onto the treaty grounds to put the flag up. Okay, if you can believe that, well, you might as well believe the pound note is real because it is. We had the rights for the pound note. Um, King Tafio had the 1888 pound note right till 1934. So that still remains as currency that we use our own pound note as levy data instrument against all the fraud Panama tax havens that are hiding here. So watch out for that one. Okay, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. at this hui, and that's one of them. So the bill for the uh, two days and a bit is $2,874.75. Out of that is a $500 bond. Okay, so that comes out of it and that makes the Final bill was $2,374.75. That's without any extra people. And Wairiti, she's the uh, booking uh, officer on the Marae, Titi, says it sounds and looks like it's going to swell in numbers. And I thought, oh dear, it's not a Trump uh, rally with the millions. So surprises if it turns up that many, I still want 
to get a figure of how many people are going so I know how much to collect from people because I have to pay for it. I'm responsible for paying that hui. And if I can't know how many people are going and how many people are going to contribute, then I can't have the hui. Simple as that. We can't have it on the side of the road either because you get a ticket for having a hui on the side of the road. So that's not going to work. And it's not very good having a hui in the paddock on the side of the road because it don't look good internationally with this flag. It's an international commercial trading bank flag of the world. So, uh, that's the um, cost. And in the paddock, if we, in the camping ground, and on the toilets on the other side, where the tauranga tera is, those popos in the paddock, uh, titi marae, um, it'll cost $20 each for a camping spot that gives you the toilet facilities and the kitchen and so forth uh, as well. But I need to know those numbers as well. And I need to uh, collect that as well. We'll have Desmond uh, Wainor to look after that for us. And he'll be um, getting some people together to help him to monitor who's coming and going. So he can ask them for some donations because uh, at this stage I don't know who gives a koha and who not. If it's short, I still haven't got the money to pay it, you see. So I'm not going to end up footing the bill when I haven't got anything to give uh, in the first place. But the information I got is worth more in the long run. You're getting this in exchange for my information that I'm sharing on the marae where it belongs. Okay? It belongs there, not in my head, in, in books. So uh, that's my contribution to getting there, plus filling the car with gas to get there. It cost me 80 bucks to go there and back the last trip to Hotel Marae. So it just adds up a little bit when you're like me. Um, uh, um, <coughs> uh, not a very big budget at this stage, but however, I can handle a certain amount with your help and contributions to the cause. It's a good cause. So um, the marae will be available to sleep and to have hui in for that period of time uh, from the, po the pofiri at 10 o'clock on Wednesday, the 13th of April 2016, hoping that the Navy will be there with a representative to come and talk to us, the, the taumata and the elders, and give their side of the story of the na Navy. But we are hoping that they would come to assist us to put the flag up on the treaty grounds, on the flagstaff pole, that's the Admiralty ship. Uh, and uh, otherwise, if they're not going to be there, then we have confiscated the lands anyway, and the ship, and the flags, and everything on the land stuck there. We shall put the flag up in their silence to not be present or perform their duties of care to us, as they should have uh, been. I haven't got a response back from John Martin, the Chief of Navy, and uh, Rear Admiral um, uh, hasn't answered three letters, and I've got an answer from the British military, uh, Secretary of State um, uh, Michael Fallon's office um, executive. Uh, so they'll be watching this event and the non-performance of the police and the Navy and the government to uh, threaten our contract. Uh, this is a commercial trading bank of the world contract with Britain. Okay, So we still have ties to Britain directly as their partner in business. Okay, We're trading under this flag now. We already got the shares gone out uh, that's um, um, making this flag um, legal. As soon as it goes up, we're operating legally with it, and the power note will be made legal on the first of the uh, recoveries of land and um, um, properties against fraud, land dealings, or any business dealings on our land. Okay, so that's that's about all I want to say with the video before it gets too long and winded. So um, that's about it.
So that's the costs. Please let me know because by Monday I should have an answer back for the Marae to uh, they're going to send me the um, um, application and an invoice for the amount uh, that she said it's costing and that way I can determine how I'm going to raise it to pay it. Uh, now it hasn't come yet so she said she needed a bit of time, Y80. I uh, said she needed a bit of time, so I'll um, I'll leave that for today. Tomorrow I'll work on on uh, calling people uh, to assist me to raise that money uh, with a bond to come out of it um, back uh, if we lift lift it in uh, its condition, the marae and its facilities, as when I inspected it when I was first with it. Okay, so I'll be photographing that to make sure that things um, are going to be returned in the condition they were in when we hired the place, if we got the money to pay it. Okay, so that's um, my appeal to you, people watching these videos, that we are coming to a closure point in time and put this into history. And I was very lucky with the uh, Waitangi um, Treaty Grounds um, Committee uh, saw the point in what I'm saying, the history should be in their museum of all these bits that are missing, that's uh, been given to me, uh, in the absence of the um, um, uh, chiefs that have passed by, and um, it hasn't been seen yet. Uh, so uh, it gives me great pleasure to, to have a hui that where I can talk longer than five minutes, that I've always had a short time to talk on my eyes anyway up there and uh, not enough for something as big as this. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, we'll catch you later. Bye. John Wanawa, Auckland, New Zealand.